Now, what's up? Listen, I don't know how this lighting look in here. It's looking kind of funny from my um phone here. But listen, y'all got a whole view of me. Oh, let's look. Oh, Jesus. Let's see what's going on. All right, I ain't do no makeup or nothing, but I look all right, okay? I got my cat wig on, you know what I mean? Had this on all day. I've been working. Listen, so where y'all at? Y'all come on through. I'm live. We ain't got... Wait a minute. Some people coming on. Yeah, you the first one, Craig. What's going on, y'all? Let me give y'all a second to get in. Let me get my stuff together, baby. Let's talk about it. Listen, I know I ain't dressed up, but that's okay. You know why? And I tell y'all this every time. I got my man, okay? So I ain't got to do all of that. I ain't got to dress up and put on them high heel shoes that hurt your damn feet and get your hair done, your nails done, your body, all of that. I tell you what, I'm happy though, okay? So I ain't got to be doing all of that, okay? So talk about me if you will. Somebody said something about my nails. I went on and got them done, but I, cause I had time. When I ain't got time, I ain't gonna worry about it, okay? Ooh, y'all wanna see, ooh, look at my picture in the back. Ooh, look, y'all gotta see that death. Ooh, that's how Dr. Heaven look. With them filters, baby, and some hair and makeup, baby. Look back, look, that's how I look. Listen now, we said we was gonna talk about Love and Marriage Huntsville, and I love this show because I I really like um carlos king and what he's done with this show even like the green screens you can see him written all over baby but how do i get rid of all these comments because i can't even see me to what i'm talking about but anyway let's do it y'all let me know if y'all have any questions okay so first of all the first scene that i saw was leticia and uh melody they got together you know they always go and show somebody house melody got a cute house okay outside of martel she got a real cute house I don't know how Martell house look, but Mer Melody thing real cute. Now, y'all tell me if Martell living like Melody could look like Melody got it going on without him. And listen, that's what I tell my babies. Listen, you might look up and get somebody nice that's going to take care of you, that's going to be respectful, that's going to do right, but maybe you don't. As a woman, you got to have your own. You got to be able to get your own and do your own. I don't give a damn what nobody's saying. Y'all might not agree with me. But I tell my daughter, listen, go for the man that loves you. Go for the man that takes care of you. Go for the man that wants you. All them um, butterflies and all that shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my man. I got butterflies. But if he couldn't do anything for me, anyway, I'm going to go somewhere else. Anyway, so Letitia meets melody and to me y'all y'all tell me if i'm wrong it's always the person that's got a divorce or about to get a divorce always trying to give some damn relationship advice melody i love you girl but bitch, you really ain't the one to try to give people advice on their marriage and it's always like you need to watch out for the sands you know your husband working hard marceau working hard Letitia, and you know we don't want you to have no problem why you wish you hateful shit on her? I mean, to me, to even bring it up, because I think words have power. And to me, Melly is sweet and cute, and maybe it's something natural because they feel like they went through it, and they so beautiful, and they so all together that all bitches can go through, which is true. But bitch, don't be trying to say, you know, she finna go through the same things as you are going through. Because Marceau seems like... A different kind of guy, even though y'all got this room out here that he got uh, a sad chick or whatever. I don't believe it. But, uh, Melody, please don't give this lady no relationship advice and try not to make it seem like they having marital problems because you had them and you divorced. You know, I, I just didn't like it, okay? She said that um, when she was married, Melody said that she missed the signs. You know, that sound kind of familiar because Dr. Jackie said that too. She said she missed the signs. Mm. I ain't looking for no signs, so if I missed it, I missed it on purpose. So I don't know, but anyway, she said that maybe Letitia and um uh, and uh and uh Marceau should go to therapy before there is any problems. It seemed to me that Melody was trying to make it seem like, or if she was wanting, or you know, I um remember I told y'all. And I might have missed some, cause you know I ain't watched the other the other seasons other than that girl get her ass whooped and the reunion. But isn't it like when Simone said, "I want to see you go through something"? It's almost like Melody's like Letitia, "I want to see you go through something." So let's go get some therapy. And I ain't saying she did, cause you know she's a sweet girl, and y'all know I love Melody Hope. But why is she telling them they might need to go to therapy? Is there something we missing? Because I may have missed it last season. Maybe they got all kind of problems. I don't know. 
But Melody, bitch, you not really the one to give advice on marriage. This is my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Get your cat wig at Heavenly Beauty. We got it going on over there, okay? All right. So, um, so Melody know everything about relationships now that she done lost hers, okay? Um, be prepared for the bad times. The way I think about this, and I'm going to say it again, you know it's ups and downs to marriages, and I say this all the time, it is, but everybody marriage not fucked up. It's a good marriage that's out there, and it should be effortless. I mean, it, it is period of times when you do, but marriage ain't just that hard like people be saying it is. I mean, you go through tough times, but if you understand one another, it should work out. But anyway, who am I? I'm just a little old girl that been married 24 years, relationship expert, took the courses and everything, and talk about relationships all the time. But my whole thing is, Let's talk about it, okay? So, now we go where, okay, Marceau is talking to his son, and I may be skipping around, about running this damn um, cigar lounge, okay? One thing I will have to say is, isn't it beautiful how all of these black individuals are using this platform for what it's designed for, okay? I saw one bitch, I think her name is Destiny, opening up a beauty supply store, billion dollar industry. I see Marceau doing development on land, doing all his real estate stuff and have a sidebar. Hey, cigar lounge, keep it all in the family, okay? Heavenly Beauty, Laura Christina. And I see Melody moving forward with her license to um, developer builder's license. I just see so much black excellence. And I just got to stop here and say, I'm proud of my people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all these big networks and own and Bravo and all this, that and other, you can say what you want to, but they do give people an opportunity to present their damn business, okay? They may not back it up. Like, everybody ain't got, like, Jackie, where she got the whole damn QR code during the reunion and all that. I ain't hating or nothing. But I'm just saying, I'm proud of my girl. But the people are using their opportunity. They're losing their platform. They're using this whole thing as an advantage for themselves, right? So anyway, Marceau is telling his son, I think this is his, uh, not his son, I think it's his nephew. And I didn't catch his nephew name. I think they got a son. But anyway, his nephew had to run this business, right? So the nephew is basically like, y'all got me out here doing this by myself. And y'all said y'all was going to help me. And I ain't had no experience or whatever. And Marceau was basically like, stop complaining. Don't give me no excuses. And just get it done. Figure the shit out. And I promise you, y'all, I'm right or wrong or indifferent. I am Marceau. I am the type that feels like if I gave you an opportunity of a lifetime, figure that shit out. You know what to do. I mean, Google that shit. Anything you want to know is at the tip as your fingertips. Go online. Look at a YouTube video. I mean, they got YouTube videos for like dental procedures and stuff. I mean, and don't get me wrong. I be looking at all them other countries. Do not go to another country for your veneers, damn it. Do not go to another country for your implants, damn it. Because some of them, I'm not saying all of them, do shit wrong. I don't even know how I got here. But listen, go online. Figure it out, Okay. You run in a cigar lounge, you got an opportunity of a lifetime, you know what daddy wants, your uncle won't. Make it happen. Okay, so in a way, I feel like the little boy had a valid point that he didn't have any experience. But let's stop here for a second, people, and y'all know I can talk forever. Help me with this. I'm trying not to say the wrong thing because y'all know I say the wrong thing. But I am a woman of a certain age, right? And we were raised not to quit we were raised to push through we were raised to um no matter what the obstacles are keep going we're gonna struggle but we keep moving forward right and then we have this mindset and i'm gonna say mindset and y'all tell me if it's right or wrong because i'm not gonna say it's right or wrong but we learned this okay my preacher said jewel taker said the other day she said harriet tubman didn't have prozac okay she couldn't stop. In fact, after she went through all the stuff to free, to free herself, she even went back to get more damn slaves. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about this little boy, this nephew of Marceau, and he can't do it. He need help. He can't do it by himself. He need backup. And I'm going to go here and then I'm going to come back. How do y'all feel about, and I know people are praising him, and I get it and I got it. But quitting at the Olympics, I'm sorry, I'm just asking. Okay, Simone Biles, the other girl, the, the um, Asian girl, they quit. And, and people were 
uplifting them and I get it. You know what I'm saying? Mental he healing is, is me mental issues is something real. Come on now. It is very close to all of us as black people. We know we need therapy. Shit, I need some therapy right now. And we all are pretty much insane. In fact, to be very successful, I think you need a little bit of when you ain't got no money, they call it crazy. But if you get a little bit of money or you become successful, you become eccentric like Kanye West. Should we teach people or the children to quit when they're very close? Or should we push through Simone Biles, whoever, and finish the job? It's a different mentality now because when we came up, we had no choice. We, did, we couldn't quit. Y'all help me with that. Y'all leave the comments in the thing because I'm going to leave it alone because I know it's a very controversial thing. But do we quit or do we push through? I mean, I know mental health means a lot. You know what I think the difference is? And you know, I was talking to Safari's mom. I don't know if I can say that, but Safari's mom, very sweet woman. Miss Samuel said the difference between now and then was, and I agree, we had prayer in school, right? And I don't know, I ain't got nothing to do with love and marriage, Huntsville. But we had prayer in school. If y'all don't believe, and, and you know, I get it. Everybody got a different help, uh, faith and a different religion. And now y'all say the universe and all that. But if y'all don't believe in God, right? That's what saw us through. Meaning, right, wrong, and indifferent, we put all our fears, all our problems, all on God. So if you don't have God or you don't believe in God and you don't get prayer in the schools and all this kind of stuff. Then how can you cope? Can you replace God with a drug? Meaning some Prozac or something? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to leave it alone because I know it's controversial and I know mental health is real. And I even said in one of my blogs somewhere it said... In my book, I was reading my book the other day, Dr. Heavenly's Business Prescription. Listen, I'm always marketing my shit. I got four books out there, but I got one called Dr. Heavenly's Business Prescription. And it said by year 2022, there will be an uprise in mental health conditions. And I see it all over. It's the little kids, right? The kids can't cope. They can't. It, things are too hard. They need a break. They can't. Um move forward and i got here because i was talking about marceau and his son and he was complaining saying that he needed help he couldn't do it is it because we took prayer out of school and these kids don't even know who to put their worries and their trust on you know what i mean and their problems on because anything i mean to this day i swear to god i had so many things i could be working working thinking about or worried about I put all my trust in God. I do all I can do. I swear to God, I pray. I try to do right by people and I give it to God. And that's how I cope. You know what I mean? I might have a drink or something, but you know, I mean, anyway, let me keep going. But anyway, y'all see what I'm trying to say. Do we quit? Perry Tubman didn't have no pros at. Do we push through? Are we teaching our children? Because y'all children are, y'all gonna say I'm wrong, weak compared to what we went through. Y'all ain't had shit. In fact, y'all got everything. And y'all can't cope with a look. Anyway, I'm leaving his nephew alone. But the bottom line is he need to run this damn cigar bar. What's it called? Black. I think it's called Black. And Marceau, you need to help him because he need help. So Marceau agreed in the end to go ahead and hire an assistant manager that had experience in the business. Okay? This is so wrong. How is it so wrong? That's not his son. I said it was his nephew. Okay? I said it was his nephew. I said that. I might have messed up and said son at one point. But uh, telling him, but what's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Um, I mean, maybe you were agreeing with me. I don't know. But at any rate, that kind of was like a thought in my head that the kids, they just, and I'm not saying it's right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm saying it's just very different because we didn't have a choice. I could not stop going to school. If I did, I had to go back to that room with no windows. Remember that? I had to go back. My mama used to didn't let me close the door, and she told me to leave the lights on. Wonder why my ass crazy. But I'm just saying... I had no choice but to finish. Now these kids need breaks. They can't do it. I don't know. We bred them different. I don't know, but we're going to keep going. Okay, the next thing was Martel went and talked to his mama. Okay, I ain't saying nothing about nobody mama. Okay, Martel went and talked to his mama. And you know what? I think as a mother, I think I would tell my son one-on-one, -on -one, when he did something wrong. I would say, listen, Martel, you know you fucked this shit up. And now you got to eat crow. And you got to do what you need to do to make this situation better for the kids. 
Now, don't get me wrong, I'm ride or die for my kids. And it used to be a time I felt like, and y'all help me, I don't know if this is entertaining, but I felt like when I would see somebody come in a dental office and see a man that was like 38 years old and his mama would come with him and pay his bill, you know what I'm saying, and get him a whole set of implants and his mama would take out finance and stuff, I would say, damn, he 38, why is she still? But as my boys get older, you really can't judge nobody because I think that if my kids had a problem or they had a setback or they needed me in some kind of way or any kind of capacity, I love them so much that I would do it too. But then, I mean, it, you know, when, you, when you're not in a situation, it's like you could talk about people and say, you know what, this dude, 38 years old, why is his mama taking care of him? Why is his mama even there? But, you know, when you get in a situation, things change. So, baby, you know, and I'm saying all that to say, Martell mama, Need to tell Martell, listen, you made this shit. You need to, you need to fix it, okay? So anyway, they talk about um, Ben, who's Melody's mama, wanted to meet with Martell. Now, I got a little girl, and I can understand Ben being pissed. I mean, come on, Martell, you got to understand that she pissed, okay? The whole situation went down wrong, and we're gonna skip to the to the uh, to him and and uh in in Ben talking in, on the park bench. I think that Martell has a problem on his part. I mean, he trying, and I know he doing the best he can because I talked to the dude. He just don't get it or don't want to get it. Do what Steve Harvey told you to do, Martell. Just own that shit. Say you was wrong. You can't win in this based on the way it goes down. You can't win. So apologize to the mama over and over and be sincere. Don't use excuses. Don't say, hey, you know what? She wasn't doing what she was supposed to Get that out your vocabulary. Get that out your vocabulary. Oh, she was getting smart. She's still talking junk. Martell, that's not a reason to, to cheat, baby. It's not, okay? Because things are not going right. Because I know good and damn well knowing, and I don't know you like that, but just knowing enough a lot about you, you wasn't just sitting there letting her talk crazy to you. You was talking crazy your damn self. You probably did something to ignite that crazy talker to them. You say Melody did. So, Martell, and you know, this is my advice to you apologize on your shit and don't say nothing in your defense because you f***ed up bad. You messed up bad, so you got to eat crow for a while, brother. And don't ever, ever, ever say what Melody did. It don't matter. You got a whole kid and you don't want nobody to talk about it, but that's the facts. You were married. You got married. And, 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 and you know, marriage is a covenant under God. If y'all don't believe that, then don't get married because that's what it is. So if you married under covenant of God and you had an outside baby and you saying you're not a cheater, and he even said that on my vlog, guys, y'all go back and look at my vlog with Bartell Hope. He said, I'm not a cheating man. And he means it. He mean it when he's saying that I'm not a cheating man. But he cheated for four, five years, but he's not a cheating man. He did not go out to just cheat on her. He said the first time it was a mistake, but then he got comfortable with it. She agreed. At this point, the shit done went down. All we could do is move forward and try to take care of these kids. And I think that's the, the outcome of the whole thing is that we got to take care of these kids, hell. You know what I mean? Take ownership, Martell. Leave that shit alone. And don't ever disrespect M Melody's mom. I, I ain't the one to say this shit. But you know, as a man, come on now. You know the mama going to be mad if you get over on her daughter. So just take it, Martell. Be the man that you always talking about you are. Be that man and take that shit because you know you was dead ass wrong. Okay? So now, what else we got? All right, so now we went to this messy-ass meeting. Messy-ass meeting. Well, who is this light-skinned woman that's spilling all this tea? Because I don't even know where the hell she came from. And Melly, you kind of look messy for bringing her around. Because to me, I think that you knew that she was going to be messy. That's my thought. Usually when you bring a messy bitch around, you pretty much bring her to spill the tea. Don't come around me in front of my friends and tell me about something my, my son did. He vaping out there. That's his damn business. If you know he vaping, why say it on TV and around? And, to me, that's just wrong. But, you know, y'all do what y'all do. And then she said something about the girl husband who she had just got divorced. We talked about that last time. She was a surprise that she had got a divorce, but everybody saw it coming. Destiny. The girl bring out some shit about... um. Destiny's ex-husband was with some other woman and she came. Messy bitch. 
They always gotta have some mess, Carlos, I understand. But that girl would've got popped in her mouth, okay? Don't do that. I mean, if I was married to him, I'd probably still love him, still care about him. I don't give a damn. Don't do that, okay? So, love and marriage, Huntsville, is going and going and going. I hope the little boy, and he will be successful in running that um, cigar lounge. Melly Holt and her husband, I hope they're successful in running their, their, uh, they're the shit running them kids um they're parental uh doing it together um taking care of the kids together that's gonna be hard it's very hurtful and i think the mamas should try to stay out of it i know it's hard but the mamas gotta stay out of it because they make it too emotional and they make it worse than what it is but martel don't be don't be disrespecting that girl mama at all yeah, don't carry no bone to my birthday bunch. Now, y'all got any questions for me right quick? Because I told y'all how I felt about giving up. And I know it's not the um, the popular thing to think. And I don't know all the ins and outs. But if you made it that far, my thought process is, and I get both sides, and y'all tell me what y'all think is right or wrong, don't get that close and quit. You know you got it. You got it. Put all your trust in God. Y'all got to have a foundation based on Jesus Christ, on God. Cause, 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 cause you can't make it without it. And a drug is not going to, some Prozac is not going to make you some marijuana. Shikari, put your trust on God, in God, and, and, and push through, sister. Um, that's all I got. What y'all got? Is that Zaxby cup? It is. Hey, I ain't trying to promote Zaxby's, but hell, I got a sweet tea. Yeah, her name Tiffany. Tiffany got would have got her ass whooped that night. Okay, I'm serious. I'm so serious. Tiffany would have got her ass whooped. When is uh, filming the Meredith Dimension? I hear October, but I'm not sure. Uh, what do you think about Kimmy and Tisha still at odds? Kimmy, 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 and Tisha. Oh, I like Kimmy. Tisha on some bullshit. I don't, you know what I mean? They still at odds. Tisha need to come out of that because she wrong and just forgive her friend Kimmy. Are they sisters for real or they just like sister friends? Because I got that kind of confused. Um, I think the situation, I think the situation of the games this year, they shouldn't be over there no way. I could hear that now. I, I will hear that. I understand what you're saying. I didn't judge her. They didn't judge her fairly. They were giving her low scores because her moves were dangerous. Hmm. Um, Okay. Simone made a life saving measure and chose to step away. Okay, I don't know all the ins and outs. All I'm saying is when you're in business, when you're in, in sports, whatever, I say try not to quit. And you know, I don't know all the ins and outs because sometimes, yes, you could save your life. So let's do it. Tiffany smelling herself, but Tiffany, what goes around comes around, baby. And I don't know if Tiffany got a man or what she got going on, but baby, you cannot do that, okay? Okay, they sister in law. Okay, sister in law. Okay, Kimmy. Okay. They're sister-in-laws. Okay, sister-in-law, y'all got it. And spill the tea. She did some dumb shit like what I be doing, acting like I don't know what the hell. She knew what the hell she did. Now, Tiffany need to stop that shit. I need to go down there over um, in Huntsville and whip her ass myself. Dr. D, I'm praying for you and your family, Dr. D. I don't know who Dr. D is. Simone could have died. Okay. Well, if she could have died, she should have quit. I'm just going to put that out there. But I'm just talking about in general. Like... We couldn't quit. We didn't have a choice. So, you know, as Simone Biles, that's something totally different. But we didn't have a choice. So I'm trying to say, do we teach our kids to say, hey, you know what? Do stuff, but if it's too hard, give up. Or do we teach them push through? I don't know. Anyway, y'all, y'all give y'all. Shoot, bless me. Shoot, bless me. Y'all give me y'all comments in the in the in the bless me i got all these damn dogs i got five different dogs baby yeah yeah um you know and and i and i quoted it from some quote they said in 2022 mental health was going to be something big for kids um um bless you thank you baby thank you baby simone is a role who should push through is a role who should I, i'm kind of torn on her particularly because i don't know her story and you never know anybody's story i'm just saying in general I couldn't have stopped. I had to put my trust in God and keep going. Everything. And I'm not saying I even went through roughly, but shit, I've been through a lot. Half the things I could not even tell you what I've been through, but I kept going, you know, and, and I, you know, I'm gonna leave it alone because I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, Black women are made to look strong, but we get tired. Yeah, we get tired. Yeah, we get tired. 
It's some shit you can't quit in, though. That's just my thought. I mean, and, and you know, talk to anybody. Talk to some of those bloggers that have those inspirational quotes. If you want to get to a certain level, your mental capacity got to be, you You got to want it. You got to want it just like you, the man say, you got to want it like you breathe. Like you got to want it bad as you, to be successful. And, and you know what? It ain't for everybody. I'm just saying, if you want to live an easy life and try not to do too much, and that's fine. You know, there are a lot of people doing it here. That's 80% of the population. Um, We need to start making ourselves a priority. I get that. I get that. But I don't think you should give up. I don't think you should get up on a lot of things. Now, Simone Biles, I'm saying that's different. Because if they're saying that she could have died, that's different. But we can't teach our kids to just, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about personal experiences with me, personal experiences with people I know. These kids are not built the way that we were. I don't know. Y'all understand what I'm saying. We, we didn't have a choice. I couldn't go back home to my mama. I had to finish. Um, Simone was at the level before, was at that level before she went to Tokyo. Well, she probably could have kept her ass home. Do you think Martell's side piece airtime on the show? What do you think? Do you think they should give? Hell, she a big part of the show. I think that, oh, but I think that because Melody is the EP, and not the EP like I, I supposedly EP, I think that um, Melody actually has some rights in her show. She can actually uh, put things in and take things out. I think because Melody is the EP, that girl probably never coming. I think that uh, Melody don't want her there. That's my thought. Now, they may talk her into it, but I think a Melody has to approve for that girl to come on the show. I really do. I almost know that for sure. I didn't say, listen, that's why y'all don't listen, DDL. I said, I didn't say she needed to finish. I said, as children. Anyway, I ain't even going to address that. I said it may be a different situation, but I ain't going to address it because y'all fucking asses don't never listen. Social media has these kids messed up thinking that, that everything they see is real. That's true. That's true. That's what we did not have as children. That's what we did not have growing up in social media. And that's why so many kids are going through anxiety, depression, and all that kind of stuff. Because social media make you feel like shit is easy when it ain't. That's why I always put out there, I struggle. And I do. And I keep moving. Because, you know, all you're going to put out on social media is the good shit. I'm never going to. I'm not the type to put anything bad out there. Even Michael Jordan quit when his dad died after his father died. His mental health was first. I get it. But he didn't quit. Well, Okay. I'm, I'm going to say, uh, well, these kids are going through a pandemic over a year, so I think we're they're stronger than we think. Okay. All right. People use social media to attack people. Oh, yeah, they do. They attack me, you know, everybody over and over again. Simone had the power in agencies, chose to stop. We and our ancestors didn't have a choice to stop when they felt overwhelmed. And that's all I'm saying. I mean, shit. If we had the if we had the capacity to stop, we might have. I just we didn't have a choice in my thought process. We didn't have a choice. So given the choice, hell, I think a lot of people would have took it. If I had what my kids have now, I might be like them. Hell, if it get too hard. Shit, ain't no need me doing all of this. I don't know. But anyway. No, they're going through that because their parents ran through trauma without dealing with it. You learn what you're taught. You can't get coping skills from people who don't. I, I beg to differ. I feel like you need God in your life. I think that's so important. I think when they took prayer out of schools, I think kids missed out on a whole lot. And they're not able to do too much because all of your problems and your woes and your sorrows and all that, you put your, your trust in God and you keep going. And that keeps your mental health alive. If you know God the way that I know God, but like... We gonna all die in the end. We all gonna die in the end. So while we doing this, enjoy everything we're doing. We know it's gonna be bumps and bruises. Put all my trust in God and know that at the end, I'm gonna be all right. That's how I feel about everything. If you got that foundation, for real, put prayer back in the school, pray in the morning, pray in the midtime, pray at lunch, pray at the end, prayer. I think prayer changes things for people mentally. I really do. So keep me out of it. How can you be so certain um, that God exists? Baby, it don't matter if God exists in your mind or not. Because if I believe and I put all my trust in God, it don't matter if he exists or not. If I believe he do and I believe it with all my heart and soul, that's a mental capacity that's helping me. Right? And I do believe God is real. But even if he ain't, I believe it. Therefore, I put my trust. Therefore, that's the mentality that I need to keep going. It's helping me. 
I'm telling you, this helped me with so many things. So try God. Try him. Try him. and learn. If, if, if God wasn't real, people would have disproved him a long damn time ago. And I ain't saying this. It's a lot of different religions out there. And a lot of people got to live different names from God or whatever, whatever. But they got to be ahead to the universe, y'all. I ain't going gonna, gonna to even get into this conversation with y'all. But God is real. Okay? Um... Let's see. God is real, period. And I, I mean, and I ain't just saying this. I've read books. Get in your Bible. Even your Bible is a damn story to what's going on in the world right now. It tell you. If you look at the books in the Bible, everything the Bible talks about. Remember what they were saying that when Jesus comes back, every eye will witness. Every eye will witness. We're like, damn, how every, what should we witness damn near everything right now? But back in the day, you couldn't mentally have the capacity to think like, how can everybody see something at one time? They didn't have no TV. They didn't have any cell phones. They didn't have, you know what I mean? Uh, that big screen that said um, in New York at Times Square, every eye will witness. It's so, it's just so deep. Read your Bible. Don't talk about it if y'all don't know the Lord the way that I do. But anyway, we're going to keep it going. Anyway, let's pray about it. I don't talk too dang long about this show. And um, whoever that messy bitch, Tiffany, I'm coming for your ass next episode. I'm going to see what you're talking about. But don't bring, bring them this, nothing about Letitia Man or the other girl. What's her name? Destiny Man. And Destiny that already got divorced. If they already divorced, leave it alone, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not liking you right now, Tiffany. I love Melody, but Melody don't get no relationship advice. Martell on your shit. Right, wrong, and different. You can't win. You did something fuck messed up. So all you can do is apologize and try to understand the other person's side because you messed up so bad. Marceau... Be a little bit easy on the boy, on the boy, your nephew, because these kids weren't bred like us, Marceau. They just, they can't do it like we do, okay? So we, that's all I'm going to say. Y'all got any other questions for me? In Jesus' name, we pray. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm going to come back. I'm going to try to watch uh, Housewives of Atomic. We're going to talk about it. And I know I went way off subject, but here, that's what I do. I love you guys. Thank y'all so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!